Hello guys! I wanted to take this opportunity to read you another story. I don't have all of our books from the classroom in here, but they're coming. Um, so for now, let's read this one. This is this is a book that I really like. It's very, it's, it's super beautiful. It's called The Lonesome Puppy by Yoshi Tomonara. He illustrated and he also is the author of the book. He's a very famous artist. He's been, he has exhibited his work around the world. And I had the pleasure to see his work in Boston once. All right, so the lonesome puppy. <clears throat> the lonesome puppy. I was all alone and lonesome. I was always hoping for someone somewhere to be my friend. It is true, I was all alone. And this is why I am this big. Look how big he is. See, that's planet Earth. And I, that tiny thing is the Statue of Liberty. So I guess he was like really big. I was too big for anyone to notice me and that is why I was always all alone and lonesome. So I want you to think right now, is there any time you have felt all alone and lonesome? Maybe you were um, mad with some friends and you were by yourself, think about that. Hmm. So I'm gonna move on now. But then one day, who's that? I wonder. A girl noticed me. She climbed and climbed and climbed some more. And walked and walked and walked until she finally arrived to my head. What do you think is going to happen? Think about it. What is going to happen? Let's see. You ready? <gasps> when she got to the top of my head, she slipped and fell and tumbled, crash! Right on his nose. The girl was very surprised. Look at her face. Her mouth is open, her eyes are open. This girl was very surprised. I was surprised too. Look at him. His eyes are wide open. And now, hmm, I wonder what she's feeling. I see some sweat falling on her head. But now, look. Her face changes. Now she's kind of smiling. <gasps> but then the girl sang songs for me. And we became friends. I took the girl home. See you again, she said. Now I am not lonesome anymore. Look at her waving goodbye and going into her house. The little girl and the big puppy each found a friend, and they were friends forever. Though sometimes they fought as friends do, they still had fun and played together. No matter how alone you are, there is always someone somewhere waiting to meet you. Just look around and you'll find them. <laughs> look at them playing together. He's all smiles now. Not lonesome anymore. Mm, maybe she's upset that day, but that's okay. You know, they say they fought and they were friends again. And here they are playing. I think they are flying in space. I think she's wearing a costume. Maybe she was celebrating. Pulling another day. 
and the author says in his final page, this book is dedicated to physically challenged children everywhere and to Michi and Lolo in Amsterdam. Special thanks to Curry, Beef Curry, and Hiroshi Suhito. And then she's like, da -da. And the end. Alright, until next time, guys. <laughs>